Hi everyone, it's Natasha, and I wanted to share with you what looks like to be a spectacular recipe. I've never made it before, so I'm making it for the first time with you on camera, and it's this uh, spicy whole roasted cauliflower, and I found it on purewow.com. I'll include a link in the description. Super easy. As you can see, I have a gorgeous head of uh, cauliflower. I have already trimmed the core out and the bottom leaves, and now I'm going to make the sauce for it which calls for a tablespoon of vegetable oil and I think I'm going to use grapeseed, a head of cabbage, uh, cauliflower I have right there, one and a half cups of plain yogurt. Instead of yogurt I'm going to use this kefir cheese which is very similar in its properties and it's a pound container so I'm going to use like three quarters of it and I'm going to do all of this in my Nutribullet to make it easier. I'll just move you over so you could see what I'm doing. So let's see. Uh, one lime, zest and juice. I have my microplane and my juicer. Then two tablespoons of chili powder. Then one teaspoon, no, tablespoon of cumin one tablespoon of garlic powder, powder not salt, one teaspoon of curry powder, and two teaspoons of kosher salt. I'm going to cut that in half and one teaspoon of black pepper. So all of these ingredients except the oil and the cauliflower are going to go in here and I'll show you what it looks like all together and then pulse because we're gonna rub it all over there. So there's everything in this. Uh, I have the kefir cheese uh, or you can use Greek yogurt. All of the spices, lemon, uh, zest of the lime and the juice. And I'm going to mix it. It's gonna get loud. I'm gonna scrape down the sides and do that again. Perfectly incorporated. So now what I'm gonna do is, instead of using oil, I think I'm just gonna spray my pan and then cover the cauliflower in this. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you the messy part. I'll be back when it's done. <laughs> All <laughs> done, and I did do hands-on. It does get messy, but it's okay. I just wiped the edges so um, they don't burn and I have some sauce left over. I'm going to pop it in the fridge. It's going to be good for two to three days. You can use it on fish, on meat, on chicken. The sauce is delicious. I tasted it. It's really good. So it's going to go in the oven for about 30 minutes. I'm going to check it. I want it to be a little tender but still be held together. So we'll check back in in about half hour. Well, there it is, out of the oven. It's gonna rest for about 10 minutes before I go to slice it, but I can put a knife in easily. It goes in easily, comes out, but it's still intact. There's not quite a crust because I didn't use yogurt. I used that cheese, which is very similar in texture, but the flavor of the sauce is quite tasty. So I will, I'm really looking forward to eating that. So. Uh, I'll include the links to the recipe and um, probably to my blog post with, where there'll be some close-up photographs if you want to take a look. Otherwise, mm, yummy new option for a meatless Monday dinner. And it's quite impressive.